We'll begin our urban infill project by importing land use data. We were able to obtain some geographic data from the city authority. This data includes parcel locations, land use descriptions, building footprints, roads, and more. I'll start by opening an empty drawing that has been assigned to the local coordinate system. As I mentioned, Civil 3D is built on Map 3D. I can access much of the Map 3D functionality through the Map Task pane and make a data connection. I'll be connecting to an SCF file, but note that I could also have chosen shape files, DEMs, or even advanced data connections such as ArcSTE and other live sources. What you see on the screen is not just geometry of parcel boundaries, roads, and buildings. Each polygon contains a rich warehouse of information. To make it easier for us to understand this land use mix, um, in our land use mix for the project, we can create a thematic map. But first, let me explore some of the options that I have to create the thematic map, such as description, make, theme, such as land, roads, buildings. That will be the one that I choose to make my theme. I can quickly go into Edit Style and build a new theme that will automatically color each polygon based on that land use type. I can choose from a predefined color palette and later I'll show you how you can store your company standard color palette for later use. Thematic maps are incredibly useful during both planning and design. Consider examples such as soil maps, where soil polygons could be colored based on the soil type or hydrologic group, floodplain maps where each zone was automatically marked with a different color and an intelligent label. Ideally, we'd want to customize the colors for our map to be aesthetically pleasing and meaningful for exhibits and maps we need. I can do that back in the style editor, then save that color scheme as my company standard into something called a layer file. This is just one of the many Map 3D tools that are designed to help users save time by automatically working with company standards. Sometimes creating a colorful exhibit is all the engineer or planner needs to tell their story, but most of the time some more detailed analysis needs to take place. In this example, the engineer needs to show how much of the development site falls within a protected stream buffer. We've created a map that combines geographic intelligence with polygon geometry and data. Now let's take advantage of that information and use it to determine how much of our target parcel falls within that protected stream buffer. We've seen that Civil 3D is built on Map 3D. I can change my workspace to access even more of the map tools. And using the feature buffer tool, I will automatically create a 50 meter offset from those river polygons. We now have a visual understanding of where development restrictions would fall, but there's more. Let's overlay this information with the land use data. An overlay analysis is useful for building combinations of geographic information. One example might be an overlay to determine how many parcels fall within a certain flood zone. In this case, we will combine the protected buffer area with the land use information to determine how many square meters of our development will remain undeveloped. Once the overlay has completed processing, that new data layer appears where the river buffer polygons and the land use polygons intersect. This new layer combines the properties of the two parent la layers. Now I'm going to convert the map object so that I can use it for preliminary design. First, I'll just check it out and create some drawing geometry from the polygon to get a quick read on the area. I might need to report this um, in a county document or to the state local environmental agency. And now that it's 
a drawing object, I can do a lot more with it.